Nocturnal Animals is directed by Tom Ford and stars Jake Gyllenhaal, Amy Adams, Michael Shannon, and Aaron Taylor Johnson, and is three narratives combined into one to tell a very complex story. In the present day, Amy Adams plays an artist who receives a manuscript written by her ex-husband, played by Jake Gyllenhaal. She begins to read this book, and then we visualize her reading the book, and we see that story played out. And we also flash back to the past to see how Amy Adams and Jake Gyllenhaal originally met, and so we have three stories combined into one. This is a very unique movie and a very unique way of telling its story. Tom Ford is well known for being a fashion designer, but also has shown himself to be a pretty good director in the past with the film A Single Man. Here, I think he outdoes his work in A Single Man and makes his best film yet. I think Nocturnal Animals is a very different and unconventional film. I admired this film quite a bit for its visual look and the appeal of its leads. Amy Adams is very good, but Jake Gyllenhaal and in particular Michael Shannon are incredible in this movie. I thought Michael Shannon was amazing. And Aaron Taylor Johnson is so creepy in this movie that he genuinely got under my skin. I actually didn't enjoy watching him at times, and that's just praise for his work because he's supposed to be repulsive, and he definitely... He succeeded in portraying that. If you're the type of audience member that enjoys a film that causes you to think afterwards, that makes you want to go back and see it again through a different viewpoint, films like this year's Arrival or Enemy, strangely enough, both films with Jake Gyllenhaal and Amy Adams, then I think you're really going to appreciate Nocturnal Animals because the first time I saw it, I was like, that was really well directed, extremely well acted, very tense, and I really enjoyed it. But as I began to put more thought into it in the various visuals that Tom Ford utilized in this movie, I began to realize how the three storylines really interconnect to make a deeper film than I initially thought it was while I was watching it. Because once you begin to connect these three storylines and see how they all work towards a bigger whole, the film takes on a far more different meaning than when I initially saw it and then I thought about it more and it just became one of my favorite films to think about over the past few weeks. See, I really like movies that have a deeper philosophical meaning that can leave you feeling a little ambiguous, that can make you think more about the film than when you were actually watching it. Those types of films that stick with you are rare nowadays. And Nocturnal Animals is to be praised for being a movie that is brave enough to be strange and very different. Its opening credits alone I, I yeah. There are times though where Ford is a little sloppy in delivering his deeper themes in this film. There are moments where it's literally written on the wall for us, and sometimes that can come off a little heavy handed. And there are moments in the film where it feels a little pretentious as you begin to connect certain visual cues that happened in the past with the storybook part of the film, also with the present part of the film, and sometimes it all doesn't necessarily come to a cohesive whole, there are some unanswered questions which is to be expected in a film that is highly, highly metaphorical like Nocturnal Animals is, but overall I respected this film for its great performances, its amazing visual look, and that it's ballsy enough to be a big film with big actors that's weird and different. That's rare nowadays. I'm gonna give Nocturnal Animals an A-. minus. So yeah, if you couldn't tell, this cold I've had is still really kicking my ass. Hopefully I get over it soon. Guys, thank you so much as always for watching. And if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.